been a while since we've been in Tallahassee for Library Day, so we're excited, we're ready. It's gonna be a great day tomorrow. Um, I appreciate you guys coming out tonight. Um, I've been instructed just a few housekeeping items. If you don't have your name tag, there are name tags up here, or you can make one for yourself. Um, there's some stuff there if you need a mask, if you prefer that. There's some hand sanitizer, there's masks, there's good, and there's a lot of food. So I was told to please help yourself and don't be shy um, with the food. So um, with that, uh, I'll just let everybody know we will have some stuff in the morning um, at the uh, at City Hall, and I'll cover a little bit more about that in a minute. But I would just like to introduce our current Florida Library Association president. Um, and it's funny because Phyllis and I, uh, I think we got to know each other about 17 years ago. She didn't want me to say that, but uh, <laughs> it was the Sunshine State Library Leadership Institute, which was a product of the State Library of the NLC. Program. We were the inaugural class all those years ago, so it's been great to work with Phyllis all these years, and, um, and it's great that, that she is our current president. And so with that, I'd like to bring up Phyllis to introduce our the secretary. Thank you, Eric. Were you 12 when you met? Yes, exactly. <laughs> we are the OGs of the Sunshine State Library. Um, I'm just so thrilled that the Secretary of State could join us. Uh, Secretary of State Laura M. Lee was appointed by Governor Ron DeSantis as Florida's 36th Secretary of State and began serving in February 2019. She previously served as the Circuit uh, Court Judge in Florida's 13th Judicial Circuit in Hillsborough County, and she was appointed to the Circuit Court by Governor Rick Scott and re-elected without opposition. During her time as a circuit court judge, Secretary Lee presided in the circuit civil division, the circuit appellate division, and the domestic relations division. She was also a member of the Florida Supreme Court Steering Committee on Family and Children in the Courts and the Florida Supreme Court's Commission on Trial Court Performance and Accountability. Um, prior to serving as judge, she was an assistant U.S. Attorney in the Middle District of Florida, where she initiated and prosecuted a wide range of criminal offenses. Her special responsibility included serving as the Violence Against Women Act Coordinator, the Coordinator for the Interagency Bankruptcy Fraud Working Group, and as the Lead Prosecutor for the Child Prostitution Task Force. In addition to her extensive legal and judicial experience, Secretary Lee has been an active member of the community where she has served on a variety of local boards and volunteered with numerous community organizations, including as a pro bono attorney through the Bay Area Legal Services Domestic Violence Assistance Program. She received her bachelor's degree and a Juris Doctorate from the University of Florida, where she was a member of Florida Group Heat. She was inducted into the U.S. Hall of Fame in 1999, and she is married to former State Senator Tom Lee, and they have three children. Thank you, Senator Secretary Lee, for joining us today. Well, thank you, Phyllis, so much for that kind introduction. And I'll just begin by saying this, so you just got to hear a little bit of an overview of my professional journey and some of the places that I have been along the way to getting here with all of you this evening. And it is my pleasure to share with you tonight that the greatest honor of my career has been the opportunity to serve as Florida Secretary of State. And one of the chief reasons that is true is because I have the privilege of working on programs like our state libraries. It is, it is just so wonderful to get to be an advocate and an ally and a representative for programs that bring so much to our residents and to our communities. Programs for which there is no opposition. There is no one going to jail. There is <laughs> fundamentally a positive and enriching thing for all who come and see and use your services and the things that libraries bring to our state. 
So I appreciate that the association's legislative platforms and priorities are supportive of the department's program. programs. In November, I got to meet with your association's leadership to talk about the upcoming legislative session, your plans, your priorities, and also our plans at the department and how we can work together uh, to hopefully achieve all of those priorities this session. I very much enjoyed that meeting and look forward to our continued collaboration. Florida libraries are critical as is demonstrated by the association's platform and priorities. In fact, the division recently commissioned a major events longitudinal study. I'm gonna read this part because I wanna be sure that I get it exactly right. These are important facts for us. So the longitudinal study was completed by the University of Florida's Bureau of Economic and Business Research. The study found, and I am quoting, our results provide empirical evidence that library use increases during natural disasters and highlights the vital role that Florida public libraries play in communities around the state. So as Florida Secretary of State, I understand the work that our libraries are doing in our communities. One of my favorite things has been learning about how libraries have evolved and adapted to meet the needs of today's residents. And then even amongst the libraries we have in our communities, the services provided and the programs provided and the outreach are different and tailored specifically to that community, to finding your residents where they are, meeting them there and meeting their needs. So I am so proud to get to share uh, some of those programs and opportunities with members of the legislature. I also admire immensely the work that our libraries do in other ways, serving as early voting locations, providing homework assistance for students, life and job skills training, provision of health information, reemployment connections, technology opportunities, and so much more. It is so powerful that you all are here in Tallahassee. So, of course, the wonderful and irreplaceable Amy Johnson. <laughs> and her team, we work hard year round to be messengers, to talk to our members, to work up the hill in the Capitol. But there is nothing like a constituent to come from home, to come up to Tallahassee, and take the time to meet with a member of the legislature. It matters so much to have your presence and your voices in Tallahassee. The other thing that you can do that's really powerful, in addition to being here, is to make sure that your delegation and the members you meet with know about the programs and the support and the services that your libraries are providing to the residents of your community. These stories are unique, they're powerful, and they absolutely matter to members of the legislature. So I am so very grateful that you are here to highlight all of the good work that you are doing. Uh, we are here to support you and collaborate in all of those efforts and all of those messages. So of course, if there's anything that we can do, don't hesitate to contact me, to contact any, any member of our team here at the Department of State. Uh, we look forward to working with you and collaborating and want to support you in any way that we can. So with that, I thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy lives to travel here, to be with us this week. Uh, and I will hand the microphone back to Mr. Peter Kidd.